Hi Cancers, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to do your soulmate read. Let's see what are the messages for you. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer is going to be for you. For more personals, I am there on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Oh, so do I pray based spells and we have crystals which are intention charged and high vibrational. Like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel in the end. Check out more offers, feedbacks, updates on my Instagram. Stay tuned with me through Instagram as well. Let's see Cancer, who is your soulmate and what's coming up for you, especially in your career as well. All right. So, wow. Someone wants a solid foundation with you. I feel this person is coming real soon or it can happen in or around the October. Okay. Your life is going to change for sure with this new beginning taking place. I feel the next person that's coming into your life or you've just met is the one that you will be ending up in a solid, truthful, long-term connection, commitment with. Yes, because the Ten of Cups is a confirmation here that you should be alert. You have your soulmate right around the corner. Some of you, this is an Aquarius. A, uh, maybe this is a surgeon or an entertainer okay or into bank or is into something like wedding designer or stuff like that okay but i feel like um this came first okay your life is definitely changing this could be a sagittarius as well but what i'm sensing over here is that you're still in this energy of why did this happen to me in the recent past you still somewhere go back and remind yourself of your disappointments, about the loss, about the sadness, about the regret. A lot of things have been like coming and going out of your head, you know, making you feel disappointed and not believing that there's something good that's coming into your life. But here's the good news that the Knight of Cups is telling me your person is coming with a new love offer. They have a lot of passion towards this connection. They're going to try okay they're going to you know make efforts towards you now the six of swords and the two of pentacles is like one of you is confused and finding it so hard to get over the past traumas and hurt if it's not you then definitely it is your person that still needs to come out of that past uh, issues that they have been nourishing somehow inside of them so what i'm sensing is it's not your person because your person is fresh. When they're coming into your life, they're completely fresh, even though they have gone through something. But Cancer, it is like you will be in this energy of um, loneliness or disappointment, why things are not happening the way I want to, you know, when this person comes into your life. And that is why we have this wheel of fortune because your life is going to change here, okay? Your life is definitely going to change with this person coming into your life. So whatever confusions you've been keeping in your mind is all leaving your life with this new love coming into your life. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For some of you, there's a deep burning desire and passion towards you. Cancer. Yeah. Expect a message from this person. Okay. Can show their message will definitely uh, make you feel that they are having a crush on you, that they do like you, and this person wants to take things forward. Pisces energy. But they're very excited to know you. They have feelings. It's like an instant connection, like instant attraction, initial stages of attraction. This connection has a strong base because there's a solid foundation and there is a lot of love over here. So there is a new beginning over here with two aces. I'm definitely seeing you guys will be in a relationship. You guys, the soulmate is very, very close to you. You may have already met them. For some of you, it is like not more than two to three months that you're going to meet this person. I'm feeling like you're about to meet this person real soon. Ace of Cups. It's like there's a lot of potential over here of you guys falling in love with each other, going together and starting a future with each other. There's a lot of love from this person's end. All you're looking for is solid foundation. This person is coming with that. So you're happy, you're at peace. 
very much willing to give into this connection. But what is that cancer that keeps on confusing you? You still have that. I feel you're not as confused as you were initially, but now the confusion is still there, but not as much. Okay, you want to also focus on your career. You want to grow in your career. You want money coming in. You want a professional prowess. Uh, you're working on your skills. You're tidying yourself up. You're looking better. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of stability with your work coming in. You're no more in this zone of confusion, sadness, low, you know, self-esteem and all. It's because you fought for it. You have fought a lot for your position. Male or female doesn't matter. You have fought for your position. You have faced a lot of competition and you stand strong and you're feeling confident about yourself because you are financially independent. I'm seeing some sort of a major promotion coming in where you're going to beat your counterparts and win over this. All right. So money is definitely growing in your life. You're growing in your career. There's an endless growth in your career taking place. I feel that is a bonus when your soulmate comes into your life. Naturally, everything started to take place in such a nice manner. Everything is just coming for you. Money is growing. Respect is coming. Uh, you have more passion and drive towards your goals. You have more doors and opportunities opening up for you. You can look forward in life. You have dreams and ambition. You know your life purpose. So a lot is going to open up in, within you when this person comes into your life. I'm also seeing you traveling. If you guys have been thinking about going to a different country um, or just traveling, having a tour somewhere, it is going to happen within three years. If it's like it's going to take time, then three years. Otherwise, in three months, I'm seeing you traveling. And it's going to be amazing for you because you have more opportunities with work coming in regarding your traveling. You might be giving seminars, presentations, uh, or your projects is like that. You have to interact with other people, you know, uh, people worldwide. So your growth is getting recognized by beyond the community, beyond your office, beyond your workplace. So some of you are also thinking of relocating, going to a place where there is more um, friendly environment. You have a dream you want to go to this country or you have a dream that you want to work in this place because they hire and pay you well and there are good there's a good work work life there's a good atmosphere with your uh, with with fellow employees there's a lot of happiness so i feel like the place where you will be switching to it's definitely going to give you more happiness there are much better people around there's a whole bigger team you will be um joining in you have bigger projects coming into your life. Um, I'm also seeing that there's a really happy environment at your work. You will meet new people. You will make new friends. So, yeah, there's a possibility of some sort of a switch in your career taking place. Right now, you're struggling. Some of you are, like, stressed out, I feel. With this person coming in, things are changing. You want to stalk on this. I feel like you have this feeling like you can't trust them uh, firsthand. So you have to stalk this person before you can say yes. You're very confused right now. I feel like you're taking unnecessary stress. This person is not at all uh, what you have been like uh, delusionally thinking. Some of you have been linking the past experience with this soulmate of yours that is causing you to create an another blockage in your life. But I feel like this is someone that is definitely very respectful, loving and caring. And they want to take you out of this energy of, you know, mental block or uh, the distrust that you may be having somewhere deep inside of you. They want to talk to you. So they're opening up their heart to you. They want to listen to you. They want to hear your problems. They want to help you. They want to suggest you. So it's like a dream come true for you. Initially, you might not be able to open up. You will be too guarded. But slowly, I'm seeing you being more open and really friendly with this person. You know, I feel like it is like something from the past that still affects you mentally and makes you feel aggressive at times. All of this is going to take time for... 
to be to end okay to stop all right some of you there is a pisces here I'm seeing your career, your life speeding up with this relationship happening. You guys are soulmates. See, here's a confirmation. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You'll be crazy about this person at one point of time. And this is life changing. The more you're going to sit and think and wait, the more you're resisting this magician energy in, in your life. Because this came up like this. So if you're going to sit and wait and overthink and try to figure out this person's negative qualities when they're already showing you a lot of love, then you might uh, delay this, uh, you know, this hangman is saying, you might delay this manifestation, big manifestation changes to happen into your life that's, that's going to like make you so happy. So some of you are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But what I can see, there's a life-changing experience right in front of you that the universe is gifting you. But you might link with the past experiences, which is not good. Some of you, this is a Virgo. Expect them to message you. Tell you their feelings. This will enlighten you, make you feel so happy. A female could be mature here. Whoever is a female here is, is more older. Or there's a interference of either your mom or their mom or stepmother. Okay, that might be causing this energy or causing this stagnancy somewhere in your head. But you're extremely lucky to be with this person to get an offer from this person. So they may have told about you to their mom. That's also what I'm seeing here. Some of you, you're dealing with a divorcee. Okay. Yeah, something from the past that still intoxicates you with experience, the old thoughts, memories. It's just so intoxicating for you. So you do have a feeling that your past person is still around you, stalking you somewhere. So it's difficult for you to completely come out of this because there was a deep emotion involved. But with this soulmate coming into your life, everything is going to turn around. Everything is going to change. Yeah. So this is a kind of a relationship or the person that you were actually waiting on. And this is a person that you will be getting married to. So there is no doubt over here in this read that this is a perfect read actually. That your person is going to change everything around. You will be marrying this, this soulmate of yours. They're very, very close to you. Cancer. If this is resonated, don't forget to comment down and do like this video. Subscribe for more. So this is a surprise package in your life. This person is perfect. Okay, They love you. They understand you. They know you. They're going to be your life partner. They'll marry you. Everything that you always wanted. This person is also wealthy. Good uh, command in their career. They are a leader. So you have uh, someone like that in love with you. So it's a clear example of how patience pays. about you for comfort zone the answers you need are coming this could be a strong gemini energy that's coming to your life uh, but i'm definitely seeing that they're going to take you out of the mud i don't know wherever you are you're just not feeling very satisfied so they will be taking you out of it you will be traveling more you'll be meeting new people their friends they'll meet your friends unnecessary worries are going to leave so whatever worry you're having, it's time for you to leave. Leave it to the universe. Give it to, you know, God. Everything is working well for you in the near future. This is someone is a diehard lover. This could be 45, but what I can sense over here is this person is someone, irrespective of the age, very, very well-mannered, <clears throat> mature, male or female. 
kind and generous and extremely sensitive to your emotions and your needs what else do you want there's so much of love here red color so this passion this person will be madly in love with you trust me on that okay i'm having this feeling you've already met this person or you're about to in few days see this is being confirmed with this card which is heightened intuition you know inside of you when you meet this person you will know when you meet this person some people will be meeting at workplace some people will be meeting while traveling but you will know that this is the one for you when you meet them your intuition will guide you if you want to have more strong recognition and your intuition to work stronger then get a moonstone okay you can book it with me as well Okay, let's see the signs that are coming towards you. Cancer. We have Aries. Another Aries. Oh, the same one. Libra, Gemini. Oh my gosh, Gemini is very, very strongly coming in. See? So you could be dealing strongly with a Gemini. Aries combination because they're extremely passionate as I told you. All right. Okay. So it's, it's saying sun. This person is extremely masculine giving and you will meet this person in daytime. It, they could be a Leo. Uh, someone is a star here entertainer or you guys are meant to grow in all areas of your life you will shine like a star even if you're alone you're still going to do really well in your life this person is coming to you know fix this heart i feel like this is because it's fated and the universe is uh giving you or answering you to your prayer start from scratch here someone's name is sunny oh my gosh this is so, so clear. Oh my gosh, your person could be a Leo. Sun and the Leo. My gosh. There's a clear energy here. Cancer, you're meant to grow in your life. You're meant to travel or study harder. And you'll be traveling around the world in the near future. Someone's name is Leon. Uh, Leon. Okay, someone's name is uh, Sean. Okay. Lenny. Nelly. Someone's from Seoul. Oh my God. So very clear message. This could be a very specific read for someone from Seoul, I feel. Uh, New Zealand. Someone's name is Louis. Someone is a musician. So you might be proposed with a flower. Okay, you have your name with your flower, linked with a flower. Okay, so this is telling me that your heart will be blessed and you'll prosperous, you'll, you'll grow, prosper in your life. I'm also seeing someone is a lone wolf. Your person, I feel, is a lone wolf. Someone's from USA, United Nations. Someone's name is Noel. Oh, someone has a long nose. That's an indication. Jose, that's the name. Chosen, Joseph. Seattle. Singapore. Something like nests. Something like that. Anastasia. Natasha is an Indian name. That's also possible. Natalie. Belgium. Someone's from there. 
Auckland. Someone's name is Louis. Something with Al. Something like Al Alauddin, like that. Al Hadid, something like that. So someone has a name like that. Salon. Oh, salon. Someone owns a salon. Okay, someone, uh, I feel I haven't met this person yet, but you will get your answers real soon. You like to go solo. These days, you're just enjoying your solo time. So you've become your own soulmate right now. Wow, there's another message here. Your soulmate is very, very close to you. Okay. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and see me again for more. I'll see you back again. Bye.